Item number SCP-1535. Index Purgatory. Object class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1535 is to be kept in a security locker at Site 18. The object should be handled carefully during testing due to its fragile nature. The lid of SCP-1535 is to be kept in a separate locker, only to be removed during testing. Description SCP-1535 is a glass mason jar manufactured by the Ball Company in 1946. SCP-1535 is physically similar to a typical glass mason jar. Anomalous properties of SCP-1535 present themselves when non-sapient entities such as insects or reptiles are placed within, and the lid of SCP-1535 is sealed. Entities present within SCP-1535 after it has been sealed gain the ability to reason, fluency in the Spanish language, familiarity with Catholicism, and knowledge of Morse code. Residents of SCP-1535 are referred to as SCP-1535-1. Attempts to open the lid of SCP-1535 without damaging SCP-1535 have proven to be ineffective while living SCP-1535-1 are located within. The lid of SCP-1535 is removed simply when SCP-1535 no longer contains living SCP-1535-1. SCP-1535-1 expires 1 through 2 hours after being sealed within, presumably due to lack of oxygen. Interview 1535-1 A firefly is used in the following test for ease of communication. Testing with species of reptile and insect have proven themselves to be similar in result. SCP-1535-1 communicates by blinking in Morse code. SCP-1535-1 Father, is it really you? Researcher Breen Yes, I am at your will. You understand the joy I feel now seeing you finally. Tell me your name. I was named Camilo de Garibe after my father. Also a devout servant. How did you get here? I followed the light in the darkness. Could you be more specific? What happened before this? I, well, as you know, I died by a sinful disease. Please forgive me. You are forgiven. I have always wondered, what happens now that I am here? I am accepted here, correct? I have been faithful. Are you aware of your present condition? This is strange, but I do not question your ways. Thank you. Green speaks through the intercom. Interview is complete. Please remove SCP-1535. More light can be seen flashing in increasing intervals from SCP-1535-1. One moment. There may be something else here. I have been faithful. I have destroyed evil men for you. Please, please let me in. Please. Researcher starts to speak, then is silent. SCP-1535-1 begins flying around SCP-1535 violently, colliding with its walls before falling to the bottom. Is this hell? Not really. Interview concluded. SCP-1535-1 does not communicate afterward. SCP-1535-1 expires in two hours. Researchers note. So far, all SCP-1535-1 entities claim to be deceased residents of Castilian Spain who lived between the years of 1500 and 1600.